What's good, family? Welcome back to another installment of Manhood Mondays, our weekly devotionals where we give you the biblical principles that you need to promote biblical manhood. Today, I want to talk to you about change, not just any old change, but change that only comes as a result of an encounter with God. There's something about a genuine encounter with God that causes us uh, to, to, to really see God for all that he really is. But at the same time, it causes us to see ourselves for all that we're not. It leads us to understand that we cannot make it through life on our own. All of our strength, intellect, ingenuity is not enough to make it through life because eventually you'll face some challenges that are beyond you and only God can pull you through those moments. As we talk about life change, I wanna do so by looking at a, a remarkable encounter with God that took place within the scriptures. And when this person encountered God in this way, it changed him for, forever. And that person is Jacob. Jacob was a man whose life was marked by deception. He was a man whom cunning became his second nature. Jacob's very name meant heel grabber or deceiver. And Jacob chose deceit rather than trust in God as his preferred method of getting whatever he wanted. So Jacob's deception would cause him uh, to be dragged and slammed from one experience in life to the next. He would steal his brother's birthright. And he would live on the run in fear of retaliation from his brother Esau. He'd be tricked, tricked into 14 years of indentured servitude by his father-in-law. So what does God do with a man like Jacob? He didn't put Jacob away or hide his adventure-filled life from us, but instead God loved Jacob. And as we look back at Jacob's life, we'll see a man whom God loved with a special kind of affection. God saw Jacob as a paradigm of his people. Jacob was a lot like you and I, fellas, a man capable of equal amounts of rebellion and equal amounts of repentance, a man capable of disobedience and confession. But God paid careful attention to his growth and he sent Jacob uh, adversaries to challenge him and to grow him. But he also cared enough about Jacob to make personal visits to him. And ultimately, God uh, would change the course of Jacob's life and he would change his name and his trajectory forever. So let's look at how this encounter that Jacob had with God changed his life for forever. Then Jacob was left alone and a man wrestled with him until daybreak. And when he saw that he had not prevailed against him, he touched the socket of his thigh so that the socket of Jacob's thigh was dislocated while he wrestled with him. And then he said, let me go for the dawn is breaking. But he said, I will not let you go unless you bless me. So he said to him, what is your name? And he said, Jacob. And he said, your name shall no longer be Jacob, but Israel. For you have striven with God and with men and you have prevailed. Then Jacob asked him and said, please tell me your name. But he said, why is it that you ask my name? And he blessed him there. So Jacob's name, that place Peniel, for he said, I have seen God face to face, yet my life has been preserved. Now the sun rose upon him just as he crossed over a Penuel and he was limping on his thigh. Now, as we look at this encounter that Jacob had with God, there are three primary components of this encounter that changed him forever. First, God revealed his power to Jacob. There's only a handful of times in the scripture that we see face-to-face -face encounters with God, between God and people. Here, God meets Jacob in the form of a man and he wrestles with Jacob. But it doesn't take long before Jacob realizes that this man is way more powerful than he is. Fellas, every encounter that we have with God will demonstrate God's divine strength and our finite, limited human ability. We must learn to yield to the power of God. Secondly, God blesses Jacob's persistence. You see, as this wrestling match ensues and Jacob's hip is out of socket, he clings to God and will not let him go until he blesses him. 
and God blesses Jacob's persistence. Family, not only are we uh, gonna change in God's presence, but there are intangible blessings that follow our persistent time in God's word and in God's presence. God blesses Jacob's persistence. And then lastly, Jacob left this encounter changed for forever. We witnessed Jacob, Jacob leave this wrestling match with God different than the way that he was before he encountered him. God gives him a new name and he also gives him a new walk. His name is no longer deceiver or heel grabber, but instead it's now Israel. Not only is his name changed, but he walks away with a limp, physical evidence that he's had an encounter with God. So fellas, some of you may know somebody like Jacob, or you may be like Jacob in many ways yourselves, but just know that God loves you, and that he has the power to bless you in spite of your past mistakes. Adversity is God's gift that draws us closer to him. God's presence is real, and he's given you a new name and blessed you based on the encounter that you have with him. You're a Christian, so you can walk boldly knowing that God is with you and that his presence will never leave you nor forsake you. God bless you and walk in confidence this week as you're changed by your encounter with God. Mm -hmm.